All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, gotta get my. I gotta get my flip flops on, my chipots on, my chipotles, as the Italians call them. Anyways, what's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the. No FIFA point, poor man Road to Glory on PC as always. The, well, now canceled Project Zlatan. We're a couple of minutes away from 6 p.m. content. There's a lot to talk about today. I want to react to the Sky Sports slash EA, not leaked, but released team of the year. Uh, and I'm actually not surprised that most of my votes all got in. I think most of you guys would agree. It's not hard to call the team of the year. A couple of surprises in there, but once again, remembering that it's the FIFA community voting on it, some popular guys are just going to get in ahead. But I, I think overall, there's there's really not a single player that you can't make an argument for being in the team of the year. Anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in a second. Um, but I did want to uh, just give you guys a quick little thought on the expiring... League SBCs. So Project Team of the Year is coming to, well, not an end because Project Team of the Year is going to be going on throughout Team of the Year, but the build-up to Team of the Year, the, the project part of building up packs is nearing an end. And I think we're at, and we should be out by tomorrow, uh, in and around 250 packs built up, which is good. Kind of sad that we went so hard on Project Zlatan because obviously we'd probably be at four or 500 packs built for Team of the Year, but that's fine. We're still going to spam and, and, and you know, open an ungodly amount of packs every single day during the event. For now, this is the team we use to get qualified for Weekend League. Uh, the upgraded Mkhitaryan uh, got upgraded after we got qualified, so I haven't been able to use him, but he looks nuts. I'm very, very excited to, to test him out in Champs. I'm going to play late, uh, maybe five late night games of Champs tonight. Uh, when it starts and then five tomorrow morning on stream before 6 p.m. I would implore a lot of you guys to get your champs games in as early as you can. The servers are going to be horrific during team of the year uh, in terms of button delay and issues and disconnects and all of that stuff. And also make sure you're logged in before 6 p.m. onto your FUD accounts, whether even if you're on your mobile phone or whatever you're, the case may be if you want to be opening packs, because there's a chance that the, the servers are going to crap the bed. Now, would I, wouldn't I, don't you guys think the, the, the color combo as well just looks absolutely beautiful for this Mkhitaryan card? Anyways, d aesthetically, what, EA are very good at the, um, artistic side uh, of the, of, of FUT. At least, I think. Anyways, uh, with the League SBCs going in a few minutes, we spent some time spamming, we built up a, a bunch more packs, uh, I want to be at 250 plus packs for tomorrow for the start of Team of the Year. I think we'll get there. I think we'll definitely get there. We're at 224 now, so I, I, I think we'll definitely get there. 82 plus packs, I still have to, to grind for 24 more hours. Um, but what I hope from EA is, I, I love the fact that we're getting daily icons. It's, the BPM is kind of nice right now. I just hope, with three seconds remaining, that EA surprise me and bring these back immediately and bring the League SBCs back. What I think is going to happen, we're not going to see League SBCs in this form or these amazing upgrade, winter bronze upgrades ever again. I want EA to prove me wrong. I really, really do hope that we get them back because, I mean, for the poor man road to glory grind, selfishly, for all of us that don't spend FIFA points, such a fun and such an efficient and such a good grind to keep up with all the big money spenders in Ultimate Team. So, anyways, um, it is officially 6 p.m., so let's see what we get. Imagine EA just hits us with a brand new set of League SBCs. Wayne Rooney. Well, there you go. And a Prime Rooney. And it looks like a cheap Rooney. Okay, so I mean... That's... I mean, I'm sure Man United fans, maybe even Everton fans to some extent, England fans are going to be super happy about that. Bro, that is a W, man. That is a W. Okay. Um... Daily login is back, so don't forget to do that. The 83 by 10, hopefully you didn't miss out on it. It refreshes every 12 hours, so hopefully you don't miss out on, on doing that. I just want to do this immediately before I forget. Um, there we go. I'll just throw I'll even throw this guy in there. That's perfect. Um Okay. So the 83. Did I forget these? Did I forget to do these? Oh my days, I need to do these. Oh god. Oh, no, we... Wait, they do expire in 23 hours. Okay, I do need to do them. Anyways, I'm going to do the 83 by 10, obviously. Um, we got marquee matchups, of course. So you get a 25k pack. At this point, we're just going to do all of this. Get this all done. Um, really, probably two or three of the packs matter. The rest don't matter all that much. Fine Ord. So no specific to Fine Ord or Ajax. So obviously, their prices aren't going to go up. 
73 rated in Serie A. These are all very easy to do. We'll just grind these and craft them with No Man Left Behind for Team of the Year. So that's fine. We'll put that into the uh, favorites. And I guess that's it. I mean, I'm happy that we get a daily. Doesn't look like anything's back. Did EA surprise me, guys? Is there anything? Anything new? Oh, what's this? Is this new? 93 days? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, are these, are these different? Oh my god, it's been reworked. Look at this. So Sudlib, Max Silver, players from one club, minimum six. Okay, so that's reworked. So you get the K-League and then the Polish League, players from one club, max one. So it has been reworked. The Serie BK, so the Serie B and the Bundesliga 2, players from one club, max one. Dude, this is crazy. This is so good. The BPM is going to be nuts. And then, and then the silver upgrades to just fill the void a little bit, man. And then you get Liga Portugal and uh, La Liga 2, right? From one club. Premium mix. These are so good for the grind, man. These are so good for the grind. So then what's premium mix? I wonder what this is. Oh, so it's Liga and Eredivisie again. Players from one club, exactly 11. Um, two rare player. Okay, so there's nothing different there. Players from one club, max one. So no changes there. It doesn't look like there's a change in this. So there's no change in this one, though. So totally the same as before. This is fantastic. Oh my god, I'm... I, hey, EA, another W, man. EA, another W. They brought these back. This is amazing. If not a little bit better, because things have shifted. Oh my god, man. I'm hyped about that. Okay, uh, have I missed anything else? D d d does I, from what I see, did we get the upgrades back? Please, EA. Don't deny me the upgrades. No! You see, they knew the upgrades were too good with Team of the Year around the corner. Uh, look, I'm not going to be negative. I am a little bit sad that we didn't get upgrades. I understand from a business perspective for EA, that's too good to be true. But you know what? That's okay. I'm, these upgrades aren't the worst thing in the world. I mean, yes, in, instead of getting basically double for your efforts, but this is okay. I mean, you can just yeet your bronzes into into this maybe once once a week instead of every day. Um, so that's cool. Okay. Well, I'm I, hey, I am no matter if we get nothing else. I, I this is this is awesome. League SBC's back is huge. I never thought we'd get it. The Korean Lunar New Year. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. Oh, we got, oh God, Fut Champs Finals Plus. During Team of the Year. Oh, Champs is going to be so sweaty. How many days is it available for? For 10 days? Who's winning 30 mat? So that's 15 wins across two Champs runs. Wow. Okay. Uh, daily completion. So we got another 83 plus double upgrade. Very nice. Okay. Okay, anything in milestones? Centurion still. Um, Silver Cop. Okay, Centurion's upgrade. So we got this done finally. We get the ultimate pack and the 25k pack out of it as well. I, I don't think I'm going to do that FUT Champs Plus stuff. As much as I want to, I, I, I think we're just going to play FUT Champs for some fun. If we get ourselves 11 win, I'm fine. 11 wins... Across two weeks gets us to where, guys? So that's 22 wins. So we'd be about here. Three defender pack. I mean, the rewards aren't that good anyways. Right? Okay. So I, I don't want to say, is that it for content? I think it is. I'm very, I'm a happy, 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 happy chappy for tomorrow, man. Uh, this is going to be a D-Gen and a half. So we've got the team of the year to look at. I wanted to talk about that as well. Um, I'm probably still going to grind. I think we're going to do the BPM into the new league SBCs maybe once or twice as well. Uh, we also have Rivals rewards. As much as I'm not playing Rivals, I think just now for team of the year, just getting a few extra packs is worthwhile. And I actually think I'm going to go untradeable for this. 
Wait, no, not that one. This one. I think I'm going to double up for this one just to get a few more. Just a few more packs so we can degen it. I, I do like going tradable because, I mean, hey, you get a tradable team of the year. If it's not one of the ones you want, you sell it and then you've got a couple million coins to put more into upgrades, right? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we're good. Let me open up the chat and see see what we got here. Uh, okay, everybody in the chat is gold fishing. There's no way I missed something. What did I miss? Is there like an SBC or something? Did I miss? What did I miss? Chat, I'm here. I see. I I I, do, I close everything so you guys don't spoil anything, you nerds. Well, what am I missing? Oh, loading screen, you idiot. Okay, my chat hates me. Loading screen. Okay, we'll have to do this a few times. PC is too fast. Loading screen. Okay. What do we get to see the, the team of the year that we already know is there? What are we seeing? Great. I hate that I have to log in and out twice. PC is too fast for its own good. All right. And we log out and then we log back in and then we log out and then we log back in and then we log out. And then we log back in and then we log out and then we log back in and then we log out again. Oh, oh, oh what was that? Oh, Mother Teresa. Okay, so. Oh, God. Well, so there. So we're going to talk about this. Don't worry. We're going to talk about this. Hey, man, that better be Croy for Hullet. If it is, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. Team of the Year icons are so hot, dude. Team of the year icon. Okay, can we look at that one more time? Can we look at that one more time? Just one more. Odegaard, absolute baller. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Dude, imagine that's Hullet. Oh! Imagine that's Hullet or Cruyff. Well, it won't be Cruyff because he got in the World Cup icons. Maybe we get Hullet? Imagine we get a team of the year Hullet. I mean, he was part of that AC Milan setup, that the Ballon d'Or, you know, ballers. Oh my God. I don't even know what to think about any of this. Yay are so good at making me hate myself. <laughs> oh God, I'm such an addict. I need help. I need an intervention. Thank God I don't spend money on this godforsaken game. Thank God, dude. <laughs> Thank God. Remember back in the day, guys? But babe, it's only 10 grand. Holy Jesus, I'm so glad FIFA 15 Nick 28T is gone. Oh, I'm so grateful. We just degen no FIFA point accounts. Oh, it better not be RVP. Just EA, don't be dumb. Don't make that stupid team of the year card be RVP, okay? We don't want to see his dumb face on this channel. Please let it be Hullet. Please, sweet Jesus Christ, let that be Hullet. Please, we already get a, a Vidic. We don't need another Man United twat. Come on, and 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 Dutch fraud. We don't we don't need you know we don't need RVP. Let that be Hullet. The only one we can be hyped about is Hullet, right? I mean, a Van Basten would be pretty cracked too. And Mbappe one player of the month officially as well too. Bro, we're gonna have two weeks of degening. I don't even know if I'll be able to play Tarkov, man. <laughs> I don't know if I'll really be able to play much Tarkov. This is ridiculous. It's degen time. My look at my look at the look at the frames. Look at my my PC can't even keep up with my hand flapping. Look at it. All right. To end off the episode, let me log out. Um, to end off this episode, I'm excited, boys. I hope you guys are excited for Team of the Year. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the Team of the Year. I mean, my vote was was pretty much uh, identical to this, right? For 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 uh, a majority of this overall vote. So, first of all, the front three is a lock. We've said this a million times. I don't need to repeat myself. You, you include this season, you include the World Cup, and you include the Champions League and the leagues and whatnot. All of that together, you're out of your mind if you don't think Messi and Mbappe, in my opinion, deserve to get in. Now, Vinny had a god year. Uh, Haaland had a god year. But at the end of the day, World Cup runs and all that stuff and what Mbappe did in the World Cup final and in general in the World Cup, what Messi did. There, you, if you think Vinny gets in or, or Haaland gets in, are you taking out Messi? Are you taking out Mbappe if you include the world? No, you're not, right? So that front three is fair. The midfield, I think we, we've all talked. De Bruyne, Modric, Locks, 100%. No argument there. 
I'm not upset about Jude Bellingham. I know my Twitch chat kind of lost their mind that Bellingham got in because, yeah, the FIFA community, it's a popularity vote. Maybe this year's... Jude Bellingham is this year's Danny Alves in the team of the year, in a way. Maybe not. That's a bit disrespectful to Bellingham, I would say, because there's some years Danny Alves got in the team of the year and everybody was like, how, how is this a thing? I think Bellingham, it's a fair comparison, but maybe not completely fair. I think Bellingham, I mean, obviously balled out and is a wonder at, at Dortmund um, and was definitely a star for England. I just once again think, as much as it pains me to say it as a Leeds fan, Casemiro and what he did for Real Madrid and their Champions League win, and then moving to, in my opinion, a crappy-ass Man United and being instrumental for Man United and having an awesome World Cup, I think Casemiro should be the third guy. I, I I really do, personally. And if not Casemiro, I think instead of Bellingham, it absolutely should be Fede Valverde. Yes, his World Cup was a bit scuffed because the Uruguayan manager is a moron, but overall, Fede was lights out um, in, 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 a, in a big way. So, oh yeah, Bellingham is this year's Cavani or something like that. Sure, if, if you want. Either way, I still think Bellingham is in the in the discussion, and we all know probably for the next 10 years, Bellingham's going to be in and around the team of the year, especially if he makes that move to a Man City or a Liverpool or where, wherever, a Real Madrid or a Barca or something like that. You know he's going to be in this conversation probably for the next decade. So I'm not upset about the midfield either. I kind of wish Fetty, maybe even a Casemiro, got in on merit, but selfishly, that Bellingham is now like in the top three of players I desperately want to pack for team of the year. Dude, that is the team of the year hullet right there. For anybody that doesn't know how Bellingham's card is going to look, we obviously don't know what the card itself look is going to look like, but he's going to be insane. He's already four-star, four-star high, high work rates. His special cards and his regular gold card are cracked. This card to me is, is, is in my top three. Leo Messi is my main target. No surprise there for anybody. Maybe some people would have Mbappe or Benzema. For me, Leo's the main target, of course. Um, and I hope maybe they adjust the work rates. I, I, I'd be a little bit disappointed if we got this messy and he was low, low work rates or whatever. I hope they do that because, I don't know. I, I just think he's still going to be a great card, but that's going to make him a little bit cacarel. So anyways, front, attack, awesome. I mean, I voted in the attack. The midfield, I, this was my vote, except I, I, I went for Casemiro instead of Bellingham. And hey, to everybody that abused the living hell out of me for Theo Hernandez and Hakimi um, and Adair Militao and Courtois, well, we got them all right. I do think Virgil van Dijk, again, Liverpool fans in my voted team of the year. I was a little bit harsh on Virgil, even though I love Virgil. Liverpool fans got a little bit upset because what, Virgil van Dijk was one or two games away from a quadruple, right? And was fantastic. Yes, people have a recency bias. So currently Liverpool is a shambles. Van Dijk isn't that great. But also Virgil had an insane run with the Netherlands. He was amazing for the Netherlands as well. Very, 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 very good performances for the Netherlands. So again, as much as I personally think it's insane that David Alaba wasn't in the voting and David Alaba should be in Virgil's spot, personally, I would almost argue, argue Thiago Silva probably should be in Virgil's spot. But I'm not upset that Virgil got in. He's definitely part of the conversation. And I think a lot of people... Um, would agree that Virgil can be in and around the conversation. I still think my final vote putting Cancelo in uh, and not including any uh, a, a second center back because I don't think the choices are that great at center back anyways. Um, cause, because I, I remember, if I remember correctly, my vote was Theo Hernandez, Eder Militao, Thiago Silva, and Hakimi. And then late on in the video, I decided to take out Thiago Silva and bring on Cancelo. Because again, Cancelo is absolutely part of that argument. Had a crap World Cup, couldn't even get into the team. Um, maybe not really doing too, too much right now with City, but, uh, but also injury, wh whatever you want to go with. Either way, had a nuts year overall. Um, I think Theo and Hakimi both respectively had amazing years. I, I don't want to go into it because I've already over-explained it. Um, Courtois obviously is a lock. Adair Militao, to me, if you, if you don't include Alaba, is a lock because of what he did at Real and being kind of used out of position as well at a lot of times. And then also how good Adair Militao was or, or how good he adapted because Militao was being used at right back. He did get shredded a couple of games for Brazil, I think. I'm trying to remember for who. I think he did okay against uh, Croatia, but I do remember watching a Brazil game where Adair Militao at right back was getting ripped to shreds. I can't, I can't remember what team it was. Why can't I remember what team it was? Why can't I remember what team? Anyways, whatever. Doing these live recordings is always hard to remember everything at the right time. I can't remember who shredded Militao at right back in the World Cup. But he, there was a game where he got shredded. Just like there was a game where Hernandez gave away a stupid penalty. But overall, Hernandez was, I think, amazing for France. Nevertheless, my final thoughts are, 
I think this team of the year is both very good representation of the players that deserve to be in the team of the year. You could argue Bellingham, you could argue Van Dyke, um, you could even maybe argue Theo Hernandez out for Cancelo. But overall, I think it's a great team. I think the FIFA community for the first time in a while actually voted in a very deserving and then also a very meta and awesome team of the year. And uh, I'm very excited for it. My top three players I want to pack are Lionel Messi, obviously, Virgil van Dyke and Jude Bellingham. An honorable mention for me is Hakimi as well, because Hakimi's regular card was in my dream team for a good three months, partially to get links to Messi, but also partially because he's just such a good right back and just such a cool guy. I kind of fell in love with Hakimi a little bit, you know, his Middle Eastern side, the, the Middle Eastern vibe side. He had his parents there. He's like hugging and kissing his parents after every game and the pride of, of, uh, of, I'm not saying he's Middle Eastern. I'm just saying the, the like the Arabic side of him and the the like the the, the the it feels very Middle Eastern, at least like the love of his family and all that stuff. Not to mention he looks exactly like one of my cousins. I would have to get approval for my cousin to show you guys a picture of him um, on the Lebanese side of my family. But he it, it's exactly that. So I got a little bit of love for Hakimi. I'm excited for tomorrow. I think we're going to have a really fun time. I'm assuming we get the attackers Friday, Saturday into Sunday. We're probably going to get midfielders Monday, Tuesday, maybe defenders Wednesday, Thursday. And then next week, we will get the full team on the Friday of next week. And either EA go money hungry and give us the full team Friday all the way to next Friday. Or they do what they've done the last 10 or 15 years with Team of the Year. Well, where next week, we'll get the full Team of the Year Friday to Sunday, right? And I think next Friday, even though we get the full team, I will be off. It's my daughter's birthday, family first for me. So um, I will be off uh, on that day, but we'll be back on the Saturday or whatever, you know, to, to do a full D-Gen run either way. So having said that, I hope you guys are excited for Team of the Year to start tomorrow. I'm really excited to see what these icons are going to be. Um, I'm hoping we get a couple of really cool icon SBCs selfishly that I want. I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy, whether you're a Chelsea fan with Czech, you can grind him, or you're a United fan with, with, with Rooney, you can grind him. I'm just hoping this Leeds Dutch boy, um, fanboy, Canadian, whatever you want to call it, gets a few selfish icons that he can grind throughout the team of the year. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.